we know that most of the fires we respond to are preventable. After days of smoke and two grass and brush fires in Calgary, the Calgary Fire Department is prepared for any and all wildfires the city will see, particularly those on grasslands as temperatures stay in the high 20s. So it is really important that people use extra caution when they're out there recreating in nature. All fire department members are trained to fight wildland fires with smaller and lighter vehicles designed to help them navigate the city's green areas. They also have specific tools designed for grassy areas. We have special fire brooms that we soak in water during grass fire season and bring those along on any grass fires and it's basically sweeping to put the put the fire out as long as it's a safe environment and there isn't like large flames. This charred area is what's left after a fire went through this area Monday afternoon in between the mix of the burnt and the charred a lot of green on the trees showing that you don't need dry and brittle conditions for a grass or brush fire to start. Even these leaves I found on the ground, green on one side and on the other side, you can see the effects of the smoke. With the right amount of heat, anything will burn. And so um, we have beautiful park spaces. Let's respect them, take care of them. The leading cause of outdoor fires in the city is cigarette butts and other smoking material. Henke is saying to never take a chance and always fully extinguish any lit material in water or in sand, especially in the hot months. Fireproof the outside of your home by not having lots of dried grasses, uh, debris. Don't pile things up against your house that are combustible. Have a clean, clear yard. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.